In this video, I'm going to show you how you might use uh, a De Morgan's rule. So we know we have two De Morgan's rules. We have the De Morgan's rule that lets us say if you have P or Q, you can turn that into a conjunction. We also have the version, and we've talked about that. We also have the version that says if you have um, a conjunction, you can turn that into a uh, a disjunction. And I'm going to show you how that's useful in this derivation, this second version. And this was an old homework problem that was pretty difficult uh, to complete. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we have a, uh, our conclusion is a conditional, so we're going to assume CD. And now we, uh, let's bring in our premises. If we didn't have De Morgan's, we'd have to say show the consequent, and then we'd have to show each of the conjuncts. And, and that's kind of tricky, actually. You might worry about what would I do at this point. And you can figure it out. But with De Morgan's, we don't have to get into all these subderivations. Oops. We can instead say, well, let's apply De Morgan's to line 3, turning it, into, turning it from a negation into a disjunction. And let's do the same thing with line 4. So we have two disjunctions now. And we think, well, how do I use disjunctions? Well, we use the rule MTP. That's what lets us use disjunctions. And what do we need to apply MTP? Well, we need the negation of either disjunct. So we need the negation of this or the negation of that. So we need not not P or not not Q. Now, we don't have not not Q, but we do have Q, which means we can build not not Q. And now we can do MTP with 5 and 7. And actually, Right? because we have not not q and the not q so what these two tell us well one of this says one of these two has to be true and this says uh, that one's false and that means this one must be true not p and we can actually see it's the same thing here uh, it's just the not q is on the left so we can also do mtp with six and seven. Oh look we can now build the consequent of the show line because we can put eight and nine together giving us not p and not r that's the consequent of the show line, and the derivation is done. When we didn't even have to do any subderivations, so that's nice. This problem was much more difficult. You had to do a bunch of involved subderivations. Now we just say, oh well, let's just. We had to do show. We end up having to do show unneg subderivations to work with both of these inside of. You have to say, you know, show the consequent, and then you have to say show a conjunct. And then you have to say assume ID, and then you have to do a show on neg, and you have to decide which one, and it's three. That's a hassle. Uh, much easier to just turn the this into that. So that's how we use De Morgan's, this version of De Morgan's. Whenever you have the negation of a conjunction, just turn it into a disjunction, and then try to do MTP with the disjunction. Nice and easy.